All right, here we go. Battle of Cornell National Champions. It's Nashawn Garrett in the red, taking on Vito Arujao in the blue. Arujao won NCAAs this year. He was really the breakout performer of the tournament. He beat both Dayton Fix by major and then nearly majored Romo Bravo Young in the finals. He is surging. And can he carry that into freestyle? That's the question. He and Nashawn met back at the RTC Cup a couple years ago. I think they might have wrestled twice and split. Oh, nice drag. And going to be one point for Vito on the step out. One zero, the lead for Arujao. Nashawn Garrett didn't like it. He wants to challenge. They're going to challenge to step out. Take a look. Garrett doesn't think he left, so they're going to take a, another look at this. They're going to challenge, and we'll find out. The challenge is the review process has been relatively quick this tournament. They are using a new technology to, to get things pulled up quicker. So you love to see those improvements. Hopefully this one doesn't take too long. Nashawn and Vito really friendly with each other, familiar, sharing a little, little laugh over uh, the fact that they're challenging so early in the match. All right, so the challenge was a good one. It was grounded, so it's still 0-0. Zero, zero. They're going to take that point off the board. All right, so no score. 2-18 left in the first. Rouge out wrestling from two knees. Now comes back up to his feet. Vito kind of putting that back of his hand in. Nashawn's face. Verbal warning for passivity goes against Nashawn Garrett. If he gets called again, he will go on the 30 second activity clock. Wrist control for Arujao. Wrist fight, really. Both guys focused on that wrist. And going to be Nashawn Garrett put on the activity clock first. Garrett with 30 seconds to score. If he doesn't, Vito Arujao will be awarded a point. Of course, Vito still can score within this 30 second window. If he does, he can still get the activity point. 
Five seconds left on the activity clock. It's looking like going to be a 1-0 lead for Vito with 40 seconds left in the first period. Nashon lost his mouthpiece, picked it up, put it right back in. That's a, it's not exactly a fresh mat either. Twenty to go, and the official signaling for Vito to be warned for passivity. And Vito is going to receive his first verbal warning, so not on the clock, but that could come into play in the second period. Just the one point for. The shot clock in the first period. They're heading into the corners. Nashawn Garrett getting some instruction from Kerry McCoy. Vito Ruggio talking to Frank Pirelli and Mike Gray. Second period underway. Vito closing ground, picking up pace a little bit, footwork wise. Nashon tries to run through a double, but Vito head hands defense, and Vito takes him to the edge. Nashon, man, here we go. We're moving now. These guys pretty familiar with one another. Vito going to be called for passivity, so he goes on the activity clock. Shot there, Vito. Garrett saw it coming. Hard ties there from Nashon. Vito takes a shot. He gets to a double. He's going to get four. And 5-0 the lead. I believe he got it before the clock expired. He did. And now with the lace, he's going to adjust to try to keep this in balance. He gets it once. 7-0 now the lead for Vito. In a match where there have not been a lot of openings, Vito found one, and it was a big one. Four-point takedown before the activity clock expired, and then a lace. He's up 7-0. He definitely cannot take it, take his foot off the gas, though. Nashawn Garrett, very capable of big moves himself. Good footwork, good action from Nashon, but not creating the kind of space he needs to get in on Vito's legs. Verbal warning for hand fight a little too physical. One minute left in the match. Vito looks for another double. He had the back of the knees for a second. Nashon adjusted. Thirty-five to go. Nashon stalking gets to the leg. Gonna get a takedown on the edge. And Vito might have down blocked. Kind of taking some deep breaths. Hope that there's no concussion or anything like that. Vito gets to the single, cuts back the other way, gets a takedown. 9-2, Vito leads, 15 seconds left in the match. He looks at the clock, now puts a half in. Oh, 
Five left, and they're going to let Vito finish this on top. He's going to win it 9-2. Vito Rujo into the semifinals.